Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. Welcome to my channel. I have today my first video tutorial with the May 2017 limited edition kit by my greatest scrapbook. This month the kit is featuring Blue Fern Studio, 49 and Market, Primo Marketing, Created Embellishment and a lot of more products. I, I will let you in the description box down below the link to my previous um, video that is an uh, unboxing box video of this kit but now let's get it started okay i'm going to use the resin frame for this page with this two paper by the spring parade collection i'm using my tape runner to adhere the photo to the frame I placed the frame, I aligned everything and made marks with the pencil. Now it's time to prime the paper and I'm using a uh, gel medium, gel medium matte that I apply with a paintbrush. I'm going to cover all the paper with this gel medium. Now I'm going to let it dry and I cut out some images from this paper that I'm going to uh, apply uh, gel medium to all the pieces. Once I apply the gel medium to all the pieces, I will let it dry. I cut one inch strips from this paper because I'm going to make the straw I use uh, water, I wet the paper and let the paper absorb the water. It's easy in that way to roll up the paper. I use a thin paintbrush uh, to roll up the paper. It's easy, it's, it's just uh, a little bit of practice but nothing complicated. Then once uh, the paper is rolled, I'm going to uh, adhere it with a uh, hot glue gun. Once it is adhered, I'm going to cut the excess of the paper. If you like, you can roll off the paper, but I don't want to make the straw too bulky. So for that reason, I prefer to cut uh, this piece of paper. And now I'm going to remove the paintbrush and this is the straw. Now I'm going to make the rest. I'm going to paint a piece of this lace that comes in the kit within the mist. This mist also comes in the kit this month. And I'm going to dry it now. I trace a line now from the left side. I think it is like three inches from the border of the paper. And now I'm going to add texture to the background. And I'm using modeling paste with the stencil from the kit and I am following all the pencil marks that I made previous and I will continue doing this around all the pencil marks Okay, now I'm apply another layer of gesso, especially to the uh, line that I made to the left side of the paper. When I'm going to place the lace, I want to enhance this area, and I apply gesso around the frame too. 
Now I'm using my tacky glue and I'm put uh, over the paper and I'm going to adhere the lace now to the paper. I'm using dots now that is a permanent adhesive to uh, adhere the frame uh, to my page. I am just placing all the dots. Now I remove the plastic and now I've adhered the frame to my page. Now it's time to place all the straw that I made and I'm, we, I'm going to use uh, the hot glue to adhere it. Now I'm going to adhere the rest of the straws. I am um, I'm going to use uh, the hot glue gun. And if you see they are in different size sizes because I don't want to make a straight line of straws. I want that they look irregular. And I'm going to continue here uh, adhering all the straws. I will let you with music now. Now I'm going to add the pieces that I the images that I already cut and I'm going to add this flower under the frame here. These are the 49 and market flowers that I'm going to use. I'm select the lila to for this page. This uh, I put uh, some 3D foam to the bunny and I adhere in the bunny in this side of the frame and now uh, I will add another straw under the bunny here I think that I'm, I want to give a uh, dimension to this flower here so I, I will add a 3d dot now I'm, I will start to place uh, and to play with the flowers with the leaves with the streams And once I love how everything looks, you will see that I will start to uh, adhere everything. So I will let you with music uh, meanwhile I play with all these beautiful flowers. So far it is how it look. Now I'm going I made a bow with the ribbon from the kit. I am not hearing uh, the flowers. I already adhere all, all the, the smallest flower and the many of the leaves. I add, uh, add glue to the bow then I fold like uh, fold and half the bow because I don't want that they look so big so I am playing with it. I add more glue to this flower here. I think that I need it. And I cut the bow. It is too large tight. Now I'm 
uh, adding, uh, I'm using white acrylic paint to uh, enhance the stencil design. I also apply the same white paint to the frame. I'm trying to make like a whitish effect to the frame. I took a liter of paint with a paintbrush, not too much, and applied to the to everything. Now here I am applying the same paint to the flowers, to the leaves, to give this chubby cheek look. And I will continue doing this uh, in all the flower arrangement. I apply the paint over the <clears throat> under the lace here in this area. I want to uh, pop out or highlight the lace, so I add more white paint uh, around everything. Now I'm using the uh, musical note stamp from the kit, and I'm using the archival ink that is a permanent ink to uh, stamp. I am stamping randomly. I'm trying to uh, uh, avoid the, the stencil work. I, I try to not stamp over the stencil work, but um, randomly around the page. Now I add my title, it is uh, the word hugs, it's a die cut from my stuff and I here over the flowers. Now I want to uh, smooth off the stamping and I'm using the mist, the Haiti Sweet uh, Swap Mist from the kit and I apply with a paintbrush. It gives a translucent effect over the area. Here is when I add now uh, more texture and I'm using gel medium that I, I took a gel medium with my paintbrush and then I pick up some micro bits in very color and apply to uh, over the paper. It gives a very nice effect. You will see the how it looks in the closer photo that I will show you at the end of this video. And I will continue doing this around the frame. I want to add a uh, texture and once the micro bit is a uh, is uh, dry I will apply again more uh, micro bits. Now I add some paint splatters. I'm using uh, color blooms in lilac to uh, to make the pink the lilac splatters and I'm going to do the same with a white paint and I apply now the white paint splatter. With the same uh, color bloom and the brush I apply to the title you can see here to create an ombre look and I apply it uh, around the lace and around uh, the frame. Um, well guys, this is my uh, page for today. I hope that you like it and that you find some inspiration. If you like this video, please let me know with a thumbs up. It is important for me. And any question, let me know. And I see you soon with other video tutorial. Nos vemos. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.